Uh, I've just got a little brief intro here about SAM. SAM has been developing ways in which Wikidata and other small wiki projects can better talk to each other like the Freeopedia project. Freeopedia began as a project to install QRpedia codes around Fremantle, uh, Western Australia that link people to articles on Wikipedia. And this has since evolved into a wiki town project aiming to build comprehensive coverage of Fremantle on Wikipedia. I'm going to put a few links in the chat about Freeopedia um, on the Wikipedia and the project page, but now over to you, Sam. Uh, cool, thank you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about um, a couple of different things. Um, so it's it's all around using uh, Wikidata in non-Wikimedia wikis. Um, so, um, yeah. Yeah, wiki, yeah. Um, yeah, so um, there's a, uh, a um, bit of confusion around Freeopedia and Freeo Wiki. Um, don't, don't worry about that, but this is more of a sort of how does it all work than um, revisiting the, 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 the problems or, or you know, concerns around Freeopedia. Um, yeah, so basically, um, uh, we're working from. Um, Oops, I meant to have this already open. So basically, um, in, uh, on, on most uh, Wikimedia wikis, you can link a page to a Wikidata item. Uh, we all know how to do that, I think. Um, I've got too many tabs open here. So for instance, here's a Wikisource page. It's linked to um, a Wikidata item. Um, yeah, so we have a Wikidata item that defines a bunch of stuff, and we have a bunch of site links to um, particular wikis. Um, that, that's cool. So, so the first thing I wanted to um, talk about was this template. So the Wikidata link template. This is on Wikisource, and similar things exist on lots of wikis. So with this uh, template, you can give it a ID number, a Wikidata ID, and it will link, uh, it'll look up the label for that, um, that item and it'll display that as a link. Um, so much, so, so normal. Um, but the clever thing that it does is it, um, it looks for a link on the local wiki. Um, so it looks for a Wikisource link first because we're on Wikisource. And if it finds that, it links you there. Um, then it looks for a Wikipedia link. Uh, and if it finds that, it links there. And then it looks for a commons link. Um, and then finally, if it can't find anything else, it links to Reasonator. Um, and if someone in uh, subsequent from, from the link being created, someone goes and creates one of these other pages, then the link will change and point to the Wikipedia article or the Wikisource page or, or whatever it might be. Um, so that's, um, that was the beginning of, of the work on this. That was sort of like, well, how can we like, um, this was specifically around marking up transcribed uh, documents so that you can mark out people's names, places, um, things like that with an identifier and not have to worry about where the link is going to at that point. You know, um, you might be linking to, to a, a place article that doesn't yet exist. So you can name it by ID and then um, later on the system will automatically update and, and link to the right um, Wikipedia article. So uh, from that, the idea was to um, be able to link it on Wikispore. Um, so Wikispore, I, I, I talked a tiny bit about this at, um, at WOW in Sydney. Um, but so Wikispore is a newish project um, that it aims to exist to provide a place to experiment with content. Um, uh, a little bit like Incubator is for languages. Um, Wikispore is for different uh, types, different genres of content. So they have different areas called spores. Um, the biospore is biography um, and is, is aiming to have uh, biographies of people who are not notable enough for Wikipedia. Um, uh, that's sort of uh, beside the point. So, so the, the um, the links in the info box here are all using this Wikidata link um, uh, system of looking for um, 
a, in this case, we link to the same page, or uh, to, to, sorry, to the same site, a, a page on Wikispore. Um, and um, if we, uh, pages that don't exist on Wikispore link to, uh, in this case, Wikidata um, is, is the nearest that there is. Um, the crucial point of this being, Wikispore isn't linked to Wikidata. Um, so, uh, like, if we look at um, this person's article on uh, Wikidata, a uh, page on Wikidata, um, th there is no site link here to Wikispore. Um, and yet, Wikispore is able to look up and, and reuse all of the information from Wikidata. Uh, so that's being done with this, um, this extension called Unlinked Wikibase. Um, so Wikibase is the software that runs Wikidata, um, unlinked Wikibase, uh, meaning there are no site links, and it, it, it provides ways of bypassing the site links. Um, and you can get entities, and you can run queries within the uh, within the Wikitext and do various things. So that's the, um, that, that, that's the, the, the crux of this um, technical exercise. And it means a bunch of things. So um, for instance, um, the info box here, if I just edit this page, you'll see there is no information in the info box. It is just one single Wikidata item uh, ID, and all of the other information is coming from Wikidata. That's um, not completely unknown in, in the Wikipedia world. Um, English Wikipedia is slowly getting there. Other language Wikipedias are already um, pretty advanced. Um, some of them build their info boxes completely from Wikidata, like this. Um, but there aren't any other wikis that are not linked to Wikidata that are doing it. So that's the um, that's the new thing here. Um, and you can see it's also got the authority control. Um, there are a bunch of other ideas about how to enrich this. Uh, like someone's doing a lot of work on um, graves and cemeteries and um, sort of using Wikidata as a basis for uh, a sort of find my grave type of um, project. Um, and yeah, various other things like that. Um, so yeah, yeah, another example of this. Uh, this is um, another wiki that I work on, uh, Archives Wiki. Um, uh, similar idea. Um, so if I edit this, oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong page, aren't I? I've got too many pages open. Maybe it was here. I should have prepared a bit better, shouldn't I? Sorry. Um, Live, live demos never go according to plan. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, this is an example of an info box that is built. Um, if I go to the edit, you, you'll see the info box does contain a bunch of stuff, um, but it also contains a Wikidata ID. And so this is uh, an example of like, um, sometimes you want your info boxes to be built from Wikidata, sometimes you're working on content doesn't belong on Wikidata, and you can mix and match, and you can you can do things. So um, some of this stuff is coming from uh, Wikidata, and some is coming from the local wiki, um, and that's uh, yeah, a, a sort of a useful middle ground, I think. Uh, the yeah, uh, where are we? So um, it, the other cool part of this is that you can run Sparkle queries. Um, so you can actually put a Sparkle query within the wiki text um, and then do things, do interesting things with the results. So um, uh, here, for instance, is a example of, um, uh, this is a, uh, from last year's um, uh, GovHack uh, competition that me and Maya Williams uh, took part in. Um, the map at the top here, all of these dots, um, this is a Sparkle query being run on Wikidata. Um, and we're giving it the bounding box of this part of the map. And it's returning all of the Wikidata items within that. Um, and we're displaying them all here. So that's um, not something you can do within a Wikimedia wiki. Um, and some of this stuff do definitely doesn't scale. Like if we were to allow that in, in Wikimedia wikis, then all sorts of problems um, would, would happen because the Wikidata query service is quite slow in a lot of ways. Um, but for small wikis, it works really well. Uh, and um, yeah, I think um, 
the thing of like using uh, on, a, on a smaller wiki, using the same systems, um, using the same syntax, the same sort of like um, conceptual models of pages and, uh, and how they link and stuff, I think is really helpful as, as a way of sort of um, building those skills and then they are still useful across the, the Wikimedia world. Um, all of these other boxes down here are similar sorts of uh, queries. This, this is against uh, the State Heritage Office. Um, and then I think, yeah, at the bottom, we're also got uh, another, um, uh, this is pulling images from Wikidata um, and displaying them in, in a gallery. Um, I had hoped to prepare an example of querying depict statements from commons. Um, but because the commons query service at the moment is uh, you have to authenticate as a user. And so that means um, a third party wiki uh, is in a slightly tricky position about making those requests. I, I think it is going to be possible, but I also think that they're not that that service really isn't ready for, for reuse yet. But I'm really excited about what the, you know, the, the, the possibilities of how we can do structured data on commons and then querying that and then reusing that outside of commons. It's gonna be just amazing um, when we get there, which I think is not, not that far away. I don't actually really know where the, that development is up to, uh, but yeah, it's definitely happening. Um, yeah, where am I? No, just gone. Um, oh yes. Okay, so um, we can we can link uh, small wikis to Wikidata. Um, the other little part of this, I think. Uh, so the other little part, the other little development was this thing. What's it called? Uh, Redirect Manager. Slightly boring title for an extension. So uh, everyone is familiar with redirects on um, uh, wiki pages. So for instance, uh, okay. So this is a common uh, way um, that I've been structuring things is by using what are called shortcuts on, on Wikimedia wikis or just uh, short redirect um, names. And so what we can do, sorry, this probably isn't making any sense. Let me start at the beginning. Um, if you're on a, a, a given page about, uh, about something, you define a redirect or a shortcut. Um, in this case, it's DJW for this page. Um, and then anywhere else on the wiki, you refer to that page by the shortcut. It's effectively giving it an identifier. It, it, it's a unique identifier and it's somewhat human readable. Um, and it means through um, the uh, magic of um, tools that are not yet available on Wikimedia wikis, but you can actually display the full um, page title from, from the target page. And then as the page title changes, if you rename or, or, or move pages, you don't have to go around and update everything. Uh, it will automatically keep that, uh, sort of propagate that title throughout everything. Uh, so that is super useful for, for sort of, um, uh, disambiguation, um, uh, clarifying and, and things like that. Um, and the way, I mean, obviously you can just go and create a redirect to do that, but there is this uh, toolbar item, the redirect manager, and you open that and it lists all of the redirects coming to the current page. Uh, and it gives you a, a little form where you can um, add new ones. Um, and it also, uh, because of the way uh, autocomplete works, it will um, tell you if, if, if you're about to add a new one that doesn't exist, it's DJ. In this case, we know that's unique and it's not already assigned, so you can select it. Um, and it lists them all here. And I've, I, I found that a really useful uh, extension for, for creating unique identifiers for pages. Um, yeah, that's, that's that little tool. Uh, and yeah, that's that's about it really. Um, and as far as um, playing with any of this, I would I would uh, encourage anyone who wants to have a have a go at these tools. Uh, Wikispore is a great place. Um, this other place I was just looking at, we, uh, Archives Wiki. Feel free to come and register an account there and and do whatever you want there. Um, and Freo Wiki um, is I'm I'm slowly working away at it, 
uh, trying to import all of the heritage list data here. Um, and that's uh, a work in progress. Um, so yeah, feel free to, to have a look at that. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's about all I wanted to go over. Um,